Welcome to Toffee TV, it is the match reaction, Everton nil, Newcastle United nil at Goodison Park tonight. Not a great game of football, let's be perfectly honest with it, uh, not loads of chances. Uh, I think Newcastle were the better side overall, but they haven't been able to uh, get the three points. And even though we were a bit below par in, in our attacking sense, um, we've ended up with a point. The team the manager went with was the one we thought. James Garner at right back, uh, Michael Keane coming into partner, James Tarkovsky and Ashley Young at left back. I actually thought Young had quite a good game. And even Garner, Garner grew into his position over on the right. Midfield, he kept Mangala and Decore together. Uh, we had Dwight McNeil ahead of them, then Jai and Jack Harrison, unsurprisingly, coming back in for Jesper Lindstrom, who was taken off at half-time in the win over Palace last week. And Dominic Calvert-Lewin up front on his own. And really was at times up front on his own. Uh, like I said, I thought Newcastle were a better side. Let's be honest. They moved the ball around much better than we did. They tried to get Gordon in around the sides. And they just, they've got so much pace in that attack that it always causes you issues. But in, in the main, Everton defended it quite well, really. Jordan Pickford didn't have loads to do early on. Uh, we did have a real... We had a big slicer look, if you like, or good defending. Decide you, amongst yourselves what it was. Uh, a corner came in. James Garner just totally left Bruno Gomez on his own at the far post. He hit a shot goalwards. It hit the inside of Njai's heel and rolled away somehow without going over the line. Uh, and it really was. It was a hold-your-breath moment. For you know, for from an Everton perspective, Newcastle got into lots of good positions, but didn't quite make the right pass. Uh, Anthony Gordon got himself in a few times and then took the wrong option. Uh, but Newcastle were awarded the penalty, and it felt like controversial circumstances, particularly with what happened later on in the game. A corner whipped in. Um, Everton cleared the corner or it went out for a goal kick. We thought that was it. Until the referee uh, it signalled that VAR would check him for a possible penalty. Um, on the replay, James Tarkovsky had wrestled, I think it was Tonali, to the floor. And it was deemed a penalty kick. I haven't seen it again. Uh, people I've spoke to seem to think it was a definite penalty. So there you go. That's the way it is. My only issue with it is, I'm not saying... Uh, it isn't a penalty. My only issue with it is that kind of action happens five, six, eight times a game. And I can guarantee you penalties will not be given for that. So it's a bit of a mad one. Craig Paulson, absolutely diabolical referee. Just is. He's atrocious. Uh, and again, it still winds me up that Everton allow him to referee our games after the Anfield derby last year. He's a joke, the fella. Every time we have him, he screws us over. Uh, and he's done it again today with VAR. I mean, all of that, I've heard Sean Dyke talk about this, and he's right. What's the point of him going over to the, the, the screen? Very rarely, one or two times maybe, does the referee go to that screen and go, nah, I'm sticking with, with the decision. The minute they go to the screen, you know they're going to give it, so do us all a favour. Just let the VAR fella give the pen. Because essentially, that's what he's done anyway. But it was given... Yeah, and Tarkovsky wrestling people is a penalty, by the way. I'm not saying it isn't a penalty. What I'm saying is that kind of action happens loads of times in a game. So I'm hoping more and more penalties are given for the same thing. That isn't me saying it wasn't a penalty for Newcastle United. Just cleared that up. Uh, it gave the pantomime villain the opportunity to score his first goal past Everton since leaving the football club. Uh, but fitting in with his performance tonight, which was really poor, Anthony Gordon stepped up and Jordan Pickford will have loved it as he makes a save, stops the spot kick, much to the delight of the crowd, and rightly so. I mean, the Newcastle fans, I've said this before, I don't get it. I really don't get it. It's For a club that is supposed to be moving towards trying to be a successful club and try to maybe win things. It's it's such small time behaviour to go after Pickford all the time. What like why? Like why are you bothered? It's just so weird. It's so weird. But 
there you go, there you go. I mean, I've seen quite a few Newcastle fans on social media after the one ones all at St James's Park, just going, should we just bin this now with Pickford? Just let's ignore him. That would certainly be the best um, response. I remember it happened with Wayne Rooney when he played for United when he came back and. In the end, the Evertonians just sort of went, it is what it is, ignore them. And, and the minute he'd done that, Rooney's performance has dropped. And um, In the end, Alex Ferguson didn't even play him against Everton because he, he just was in his own head. And I think the Newcastle fans acting like that is a bit, it's just a bit odd to me. The same as responding to you've never won, fuck all, with singing Anthony Gordon songs, like Anthony Gordon's the, the, the trophy response. It's like, Anthony Gordon has been brilliant for Newcastle. He's been a great signer for them. Fair play. But when he was at Everton, we weren't that arse. We wanted we we sorry, not we wanted them to go, but we weren't that bothered. We needed the money. He didn't want to play for us anymore, which is fine. And it was a really good deal for both clubs. So I just I don't I don't understand it. It is what it is. It's a it's yeah, I don't understand it. It's it's football. Anyway, Gordon missed it. Pickford saved it. Um and that was it, really, for the first half. They did have a chance after it, Anthony Gordon. I don't know why he cushioned the head. It was a great ball in. Might might have been Bruno Gomez. It was a brilliant ball into the box. And Gordon rose. And I think if he goes for goal, he will cause Jordan Pickford issues. But he tries to cushion it down. I think it was to Joe Linton. And the ball ended up um, being smuggled away by Everton. And that was sort of that. Everton's best attack. We did have the ball in the net. It was a Decore header off a great cross from James Garner. Decore was rightfully ruled offside, uh, even though it was a good header into the Nick Pope's net. It uh, came out for the second half. It followed a similar pattern. Newcastle moved the ball around. I thought Joe Linton and Bruno Gomez were brilliant for Newcastle tonight. Really, with Tanali, not so much. I thought he was really poor. Um, but I thought those two in midfield were excellent for Newcastle. Really got on the ball. Bruno Gomez. Uh, especially, I thought he was excellent. But they were, they had the ball. They were, it was Joe Linton was looking the most threatening. He got round the side. There was one where there's a ball down the side and Mangala's ahead of him. And Joe Linton somehow just strided past them and left them for dead. I think he cut the ball back and Gamera's got in Gordon's way or vice versa. And, and, and Bruno put it over the bar. Everton just couldn't really get going creatively. Dwight McNeil. It's a couple of long ranges wide. Um, the, our best source of hope was from Illiman and Dyer, who I thought had a decent game, dribbling wise, but there was nobody, once he'd done the first action, making runs off him. Our forward play needs loads of. It's really poor. It's, it, let's be honest. Dominic Alvaloon, I feel for him. Isolated, we just knock it up to him and hope he can keep hold of it and wrestle with three defenders. And it's, it is really poor. It was a much more defensive performance. I think the manager will have been delighted that we've kept the clean sheet tonight. But Everton, there was a moment in the game where Everton thought they should have had a penalty. A good bit of play ball into Calvert-Lewin. It's a good save from Nick Pope. And as it breaks free, Calvert-Lewin looks like he's about to wrap it in. He gets, he kicks Dan Byrne, or there's a collision between him and Dan Byrne, which looked like a penalty. The Drissa Garnagay scooped the ball over. I'm not sure how he's put it over with an open goal. It, apparently, the saying that Calvert Lewin kicked Dan Byrne. Dan Byrne has said on an interview afterwards that it wouldn't have. He didn't think it'd have been overturned. The referee to give it, it would have stood. You know, there was an argument for it being a penalty. I've heard a couple of other pundits saying it was a penalty as well. I don't know. I've not seen it back, so I'm saying this without having the the um, opportunity to watch it back. But. All I can, all I'll say is VAR have had a look at it and we didn't get it, so they must have deemed it wasn't enough for a penalty. The the explanation come up and said Calvert Lewin kicked Dan Byrne. Calvert Lewin, if he's not initiating the contact and Byrne gets in the way when he's about to put it in, that's still a foul. We've had one overturned against Brighton when Dom drew his foot back to shoot and and dunk sliding and and took his foot and it got given as he put his foot on Lewis Dunk that day. Well, listen. We'll see. We'll see. I'll have to watch it back. I don't know. I'm still struggling to understand how this. I put it over the bar. There was a time at the other end for Garner to block one when it cross took a deflection. He cleared it away from Everton's goal. 
And then there was still time for an, an, uh, Anthony Gordon to miss an absolute sitter. Guilt edge chance running through with Pickford and couldn't hit the target. Blazed it over. It was an awful night for him tonight. Uh, some first half, the amount of times he went down. A couple of times he was fouled, genuine fouls. People were few and he was, but other times he was diving and the referee bought it. Um, just not a good night for Anthony Gordon at Goodison Park. It's ended nil nil. It's how do you look at this? That's the frustration. I look at it and you go, well, we've not played well. And by not playing well, we've earned ourselves a point and kept the clean sheet. Don't know. It's it's a worse start. I didn't think we could have a worse start than last season. Now we're two points worse off than we were last season. So it is a worse start. The other way is we're three games unbeaten. <laughs> going into international break. So it's it's really difficult. I don't know how to look at it. We've not played well and we took a point. If you're going to do that, fair enough. And if it ends up being a pantomime villain, gets to miss a penalty, um, again, saved by a goalkeeper, which the Newcastle fans hate, then you go, we'll take that. That's what it is. But I'm a bit disappointed in Everton's forward play. Their games where there was an opportunity, as good as they were at moving it around, there was a real opportunity for Everton to get three points and we've not taken it. So I don't know how to feel about this one, but we didn't lose it and uh, that's what I'm going to go with. Jordan Pickford is my man of the match simply because I thought he, he come and dealt with crosses, come and caught a couple of crosses, punched a few, and he's made the, the biggest difference in the biggest moments of the game with a penalty save. So Jordan Pickford is my man of the match. Uh, thanks for watching. Give the video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. See you later.